For over 40 years, Hydromat has been manufacturing machines here in the U.S., the gateway to the West in St. Louis. Well, we've made it inside the factory here in St. Louis, the headquarters of Hydromat in the U.S. This is the home of the Eclipse, the home of the Icon, Edge Technologies, where all of the manufacturing is being done. And one of my favorite things, what you're going to get to see soon, is the service and support that Hydromat has 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because the technology that they utilize here is unique, significant, and creates success in an automated world that can be so powerful on darn near any projects out there. So without any further ado, come with me, let's take a walk and see what this factory looks like. Well, my friends, we've made it into the factory now and I get to talk with my buddy, Mateus. We're gonna talk a little bit about the history and involve you guys in how this was all built up before we get into some of the really cool technical capabilities that only Hydromat can offer. Mateus, let's talk a little bit about the history manufacturing here in the US. Thanks, Tony. First of all, thanks for coming to Hydromat. We always appreciate you. Thanks. You're doing great work. Thank you so much for saying so. our company, so. Hydromat, yeah, we are here since uh, over 40 years, 40 year plus. We started with in a machine shop, uh, almost a garage shop with one machine. And here we are today. We have around 30 machines on our floor. And uh, it's all about manufacturing, value added, high speed precision machining, committed to excellence is our slogan. That's where we're at. Well, that's some really cool history and story, but let's talk more about the growth, Mateus. You have so many people walking around, machining, creative engineers everywhere I look, but you value service support. There's so much more to Hydromat that I know the audience wants to hear about. Tony, and you got that right. That's a differentiator between Hydromat and our competitors. We are an American company. We are an American powerhouse. We are totally vertically integrated. We have 250 people on staff. We are 24-7, we work weekends, we work uh, Christmas, holidays, customers can call us. Our customer service is 24-7, 365 days a year with no breaks. That makes a difference in the manuf American manufacturing world. I like all of that. Now, for the audience out there who's just getting used to who you guys are, you're everywhere. I see you guys all over the place, right? But you have a really unique capability that allows those jobs that are almost seem impossible to do to say, I'm possible. We can do that for you. Would you mind explaining to the audience watching right now, now that we know a little bit about the history, some of the unique capabilities and attributes that you can offer to everyone out there? Yeah, what Hydromat is offering is really a, a very unique solution. When you have a certain amount of volume or part families, we have the solution. Uh, we can do this all on one platform. We, we clamp the part once, we finish machine it in one chucking, gives you superior part quality. Uh, and then we get you the best throughput, cost per piece, by the fastest cycle time, fastest production time we can offer. That's who we are, and that's where we stand for, and that's where we're best at. I agree, but now let's show the audience some of this technology and so talk with some of your colleagues here as well. Shall we go? Absolutely. Great. Thanks. Let's go. So guys, now we get to talk technology at Hydromat. I got my buddy Chad with me, and we're going to talk Epic. And Chad is Epic as well, so he's the guy to talk about it. Chad. I'm fascinated by what this machine even looks like. Yeah. Let's talk about its unique abilities, but let's first talk about the base of it. So as we all know, uh, budget's very important when purchasing a machine. So this customer uh, requested us to find some savings for them. So we actually went to a remanufactured base. What that means is we take an old base and take it back to OEM specifications. What this does is it still allows the precision of a hydromat, but at a cheaper rate. Ah, I like that it can be less expensive like that. That's definitely worth transferring to the customers out there and letting them know that you have them in mind. Now, I see a whole lot of metal and a whole lot of edges sticking out. Now, mm -hmm. this is what fascinates me about Hydromat in so many ways because parts are being made quickly. Parts are being automated. Automated is the buzzword, the mm -hmm. lights out, the mm -hmm. third shift, we all talk about it. Can you talk about the importance of automation on this machine, how it actually works, and how quick are the parts being made? Yeah, absolutely, so this customer came to us, as we all know, labor shortage is a very big issue in our industry right now, and they were looking for lights out running so they could run a machine throughout a constant shift without touching it. So we were able to make a part every six seconds and run an eight hour shift with the current automation setup we have. Six seconds, unmanned. How often does a guy gotta come over to 
load the raw blank again or load the stock or whatever it is that you're utilizing to run this machine because six seconds, what, I gotta make a million parts? Absolutely, so we have a bulk handling system set up over here where they actually take their raw dunnage from a tote or whatever, drop right into our stacker system and it goes into a stack feeder and enters the machine that way. Six seconds later, there's a part. Absolutely. Chad, that is amazing. Now let's talk about the next bit of technology. So follow me on to the next machine, guys. Technology, technology, technology. We all love it, right? Now with my buddy, Rob. And how many of you like bread and butter? I do. I like bread and butter. And this is the bread and butter machine. 16 stations. Rob, let's talk about this. Sure. This is our 16 station HB 3245 collet machine. Uh, full CNC package, FANUC 30i control. Um, so it brings on a lot of new technology and offering that prior machines and prior control packages that we implemented did not. When we're talking about this control, because I know you want to dive into it, what makes it unique that the audience should receive the information and go, oh, now I get it? So this package allows us to bring in new technology. We have oscillation chip breaking that we can provide for drilling applications, get rid of the stringy chips, get chips broken up. Uh, as well as we can do some learning technology with the analog servo proportional valve. For our XY sliding flanges, we can achieve much more round features and produce, or utilize, I should say, uh, high-speed machining technology and, and implementation from the CAD CAM packages, the way that they output and have newer offerings as well. That's pretty clever, my friend. Now, chip breaking, we understand. We're getting real stringy. I've definitely ripped some tools apart by not chip breaking, right? We, a lot of us out there, we understand the concept of how that works. But would you mind diving a little bit more into the servo? Because we, we know the word high-speed machining, but how does that effectively be utilized when we're talking about the technology itself? Sure, with this application, and you know, specifically, uh, when we package a spindle motor with the unit, uh, between the hydraulic servo proportional valve and the motor itself, it can learn and synchronize braking moves. Uh, the beauty of that, though, is running the G-Code program from FANUC. We're not increasing our cycle time. Uh, we don't lose time. You're not putting dwells in and pec cycles running can routines. Uh, so it's very effective, very efficient. At the end of the day, short chips, keep the lid closed, keep the spindles running. Rob, that is amazing, my friend. Very well done. You guys want to see some more technology? Of course you do. Come on. Well, Mateus, we've come to the end of the tour, and as iconic as you are, we have one more icon to talk about, don't we? Got that right. So I'm looking at this machine. I'm familiar with this machine. This machine, eight spindles in cut at one time, three, four horizontal, four vertical. We have a robot. We have shunk grippers. There's a unique way. There's air blasts that go into it. Your work holding is unique. Let's talk about what this system can actually do for a customer. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, this is our engineering marvel. This is our Icon 6250, six stations, 250 millimeter on the chuck. And this is a mid-value machine, total flexible, eight machining senders in one, in one cut, in one production cell, unbeatable. An engineering marvel. I like that word, Mateus, because it does make sense. Now, automation as we know, is the buzzword, it's the key thing. Third shift, second shift even, a lot of people first shift and then they're making money as everything runs through the night. This cell can run unmanned for how long? Correct, Tony, so the cell doesn't only machine a part, a forging part in 120 seconds, which has been naturally done in 12 to 14 minutes. So not just the throughput is tremendously, it's all of the automation cell. This is a lights out machine, we call it lights out, it's eight hours. Stack towers, stack forgings in, finish parts out, eight hours unmanned. It's unbelievable. So unmanned and reduction of cycle time based on the standard of how these parts have previously been made. There's also something unique about this machine because oftentimes forgings don't come in perfection, do they? And there's going to be maybe little waves or something in it. And you set up something in this cell that can take a raw forging piece without doing any pre-manufacturing and put it into this machine, right? So right, Tony. There's one more factor, which is quality. Proactivity, efficiency is one thing, cost per piece, but you have to hold your quality standards. And this is what this cell does too. So we are measuring, for example, a forging coming into the part. We know that a forging varies in thickness. We gauge the thickness of the forging and have direct feedback to every spindle inside the machine to get a right part every time, every cycle. 
It's mind blowing. I mean, the first time I saw this, I just fell in love with it, right? It's a mind blowing machine. So are there any final thoughts as we come to the end of this tour, Mateus? And we're so grateful that we're able to showcase this facility to the global audience watching right now. Are there any final thoughts that you'd like to offer to the audience watching right now to say, this is Hydromat? Tony, thank you. Yeah, I would like to finish up here, dear customers. Uh, yes, you can see today, you saw today, Heidemar is an engineering powerhouse. That's what we like to call ourselves. You bring it to us, we'll figure it out. We'll make it happen. We get you a solution which works, highest quality, highest productivity, the lowest cost per piece, and we are right here in St. Louis, Missouri. American company, 24-7.